Hello everyone, this is Manjunath Rawat. In this video, we are going to learn what is meant by blue selection and green selection. So to understand this concept in a detail, let me draw a rectangular geometry. So just select this rectangle in a draw toolbar. So just click once over there. This toolbar is get enabled. Select a first corner point anywhere over this workspace. And just enter so that we can have one rectangle over there. Again, press enter button so that we can activate the previous command that we have selected. And likewise, we can complete one cascade rectangle geometry like this so that we can understand what is in by blue selection and green selection in a detail. So basically, when we are going to delete any drawn construction, we have one option over here in a modify toolbar. That is nothing but the erase option. So by this preview window, we come to know that in a first construction, we have this point number one and two constructed. And once we use this erase command, that particular geometry is get deleted. So by means of this erase command, we can delete a single entity that we have selected like this. So once we get selected, it is get turned into this dotted line like this. Again, to understand this blue selection and green selection, we have to select a left corner point in case of the blue selection command. So just enter once over there and move your cursor like this so that over the window we will get one blue rectangle. So in case of blue selection, the whole enclosed rectangular geometry is get selected. So if we just observe carefully for the window, in this case, the first two rectangles are completely enclosed by this blue rectangle. And this third rectangle is partially selected. So once I click for the other point, you can see only the first rectangles are get selected like this. Okay. But when we are going to select these rectangles from the right corner, and if we just move our cursor in a downward direction, you can see one green rectangle screen is going to be observed. And in this case, though we have selected the first two rectangles completely and the third rectangle partially, the third rectangle is get selected in case of this green selection. Now you can see the change. So in case of blue selection, only the whole enclosed components are going to be selected for the deletion. Okay, but in case of the green selection window, the total objects are going to be selected covered by this green window like this. Okay, now to delete this object, just press delete button over the keyboard or you can enter, uh, press enter button over the keyboard like this. Okay, now to get our previous construction, let's undo this construction like this by pressing this control and Z button. Now to have a blue selection window, again I will just select a left corner point at the top end and move my cursor in downward direction. Again if I just click over there, you can see only these first two rectangles are get selected. Again to delete these two selected rectangles, press enter button over the keyboard like this. Okay. This is nothing but the uh, blue selection as well as the green selection while deleting the constructed objects. Now generally most of the time while deleting any kind of construction that we have over the workspace, we are going to select these constructed geometries by moving our cursor over that construction line and just press enter button. Okay, so it will get selected. And to delete that particular geometry, press delete button over the keyboard. Now you can see that particular selected geometry is going to be deleted. So this is all about the blue selection window as well as the green selection window. So thank you.